This video shows a case study of applying BioWin to optimize an existing wastewater treatment plant to reduce operating costs. Let's look at the application of BioWin to a nutrient removal system in New Zealand. This system consists of several reactor clarifier package plants. The influent was typical for New Zealand wastewater. The design average daily flow rate was 103 million gallons per day. The plant was meeting its effluent requirements which included BOD and total nitrogen limits. One aspect of the plant design was that the total airflow to each reactor clarifier was controlled by one valve. The position of this valve was set according to the readings of any one of the four dissolved oxygen probes in the aerated zones of the reactor clarifier. This aeration control strategy resulted in very high dissolved oxygen levels, especially in the last two aerated zones of the reactor clarifiers. This was resulting in excessive power costs at the plant, with aeration power requirements accounting for 40% of the plant's total power consumption. The goal of this project was to explore the cost savings potential of an alternative dissolved oxygen control strategy that used local airflow control for each aerated zone of the reactor clarifier. The approach used was to set up a bioin model of the treatment process. Some aspects of the bioin model include Each reactor clarifier was represented as a series of bioreactor elements to capture their plug flow nature. Each reactor clarifier was represented as four zones, with each zone receiving a portion of the influent wastewater. Each of the four zones was split into anoxic and aerobic portions according to plant design. Dissolved oxygen set point schedules were input to the aerobic portions of the reactor clarifiers. After setting up the bioin flow sheet and incorporating all operational aspects, the model was calibrated to a period of time varying performance data. In order to accomplish this, a supplemental plant sampling campaign was conducted to augment the existing data set. Minor adjustments were made to model parameters until the model predictions matched the observed plant responses for a variety of parameters. For example, here we see the predicted total airflow rate as a solid line and the observed values shown as points. The plant also had information on power consumption as a function of airflow, so it was possible to compare predicted versus observed power consumption. Once the model was calibrated and predictive of the plant behavior, it was applied to investigate the alternative dissolved oxygen control strategy. To facilitate comparisons between the current and proposed control modes, the following approach was used. An average week plant load was represented as a dynamic time varying influent. This load was directed to a model representation of the current mode of operation and the proposed mode of operation. The plant's relationship between airflow and power consumption was input to the model, and the predicted power consumption for the current control strategy, shown by the red line, was compared to the predicted power consumption for the proposed control strategy shown by the blue line. It was evident that the proposed strategy's power consumption was lower than the current strategy's. A ratio of the proposed to current power consumption was plotted and this indicated that there was a potential to save approximately 25% on power costs each year. The benefits of these findings to the plant owner included the following points. The simulation approach was a cost-effective method for selecting an improved aeration control strategy for implementation. Once the improved aeration control strategy was implemented, total air consumption was reduced by 20%. This resulted in a significant reduction in power consumption, which in turn translated to an annual cost savings of nearly $400,000. The improved aeration control strategy identified by the bioin simulations resulted in rapid return on investment and also improved plant effluent stability. Further details on this project are available in a paper presented at the Water Environment Federation's annual technical conference. In this video, we saw how BioIN can be used to optimize an existing wastewater treatment plant. Please check our video library for videos on how to use BioIN for other engineering objectives. The library also contains short how-to tutorials that will help you increase your productivity.